Hello, Miles and Martha Laws, your local real estate experts. When you're working in a transitioning real estate market, you want to make sure that you're represented by a real estate agent when you sell your home. And that agent is experienced to understand the market, the market trends, and what's going on in your immediate area. You see, that agent is going to have to educate you and advise you when it comes to accepting offers. And if you take bad advice, it could cost you tens of thousands of dollars. And here's a real life example I was representing representing a buyer who made a full price offer in a home that had a roof that was 19 years old, clearly needed to be replaced. The agent was insistent. The roof was fine. It wouldn't be an issue. They talked to an insurance agent, which of course wasn't the case. So the offer was full price and included they weren't going to care about the roof. They were going to replace it after closing. If the roof came up in the inspection, they don't care. It became an issue with insurance. They don't care. It was a golden offer. And this agent advised the sellers not to move forward that offer and to hold off until an open house, wait a week, put some time in there. And the buyers were very motivated, which is what you want when you're a seller. So they moved on to another property. And when they're getting ready to make an offer on that property, they had me call up that selling agent again and say, look, are you sure you don't want to move forward with their offer? It's full price and they don't care about the roof. And the agent gave us a lot of pushback. Oh no, we know we're going to get a really good offer. There's a strong market. And I said, look, you may want to take a look at comparables in the market. This is not the market you think it is. And they insisted. So we actually closed another purchase and I kept an eye on that property. And right around 90 days later, the property sold and it sold for 49000 below the list price. So that means they would have gone with my buyer's offer. They would have made an additional $49,000. So the sellers took some really bad advice and it cost them a lot of money. So you want to make sure that you work to an experienced real estate agent when you sell your home. You have any questions or need to buy or sell real estate, reach me to the number below. Don't leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.